What? Didn't you see that? There was a dead cat hanging from that sign we just passed. Really? Cool. Don't you even think about going back there. What color was it? Tiger stripe. What difference does it make? Well, I thought it might be black, you know? Satanist out in the desert? Marielle said the Nevada desert was full of oddballs. I just don't know who could kill a living creature like that. You're traveling through another dimension. Dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Very funny. I can't wait to get back to Salt Lake City, at least. Too much nature out here. I'm starting to miss civilization. What? What is it? Car. Really moving, too. Get over. Give him the road. Oh. It's a cop. Why is he going so fast with his flashers off? Who's he gonna run him for out here? Well, there's us. What's he doing? I don't know. Well, I guess he wants to get back behind us again. Well, why didn't he just pull over and let us pass then if that's what he wants? I don't know. Why is he stopping us, Peter? Why? These asses have a quota to make. They keep the posted limit at 55 so they can make it. Don't pull over. I don't have a choice, Mary. Guess I was going a little fast, officer. Had the hammer down a little, huh? Can I see your registration, please, sir? No problem. Uh, but the car's not mine. Uh, it's my sister's. Uh, we're driving it back for her to New York. She's She goes to school in Oregon. Uh, Rand College, have you ever heard of it? Mary, could you get the registration? I think it's in the glove compartment. I don't believe this. I can't find my license. Sorry, officer. I... Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Okay, and, uh, and, and here's the registration. Oh, good. I see you're an organ donor. Think that's wise? Well, uh... Is there a problem, officer? Your name is Jackson. The one on the pink slip says Didra Finney. Is that your sister? Right. She's been divorced for about a year, but she kept her husband's last name. So. Deirdre's a bit of a flake. <laughs> bit of a flake, huh? Tack. Can I ask you to step out of the car, Mr. Jackson? What for? Of course. Come around back, Mr. Jackson. Ah, oh, hell. Peter, what is it? Oh, uh, our our damn license plate fell off. Oh, I doubt it. Did you stop in Fallon? Yeah, I, we got gas at the Conoco there. Why? Oh, they got some light-fingered kids hang out there. I reckon your license plate is hanging in their clubhouse. 
right now. You know this and it still goes on? Oh, Fallon is not my place. Those are not my ways. Gosh, no. Uh, what should we do about that, officer? Well, you just take the plate off the front and put it in the back. That should get you across the country. You got a toolkit? Uh, oh, these are yours. Thanks. I think I saw a toolkit in the trunk. Yeah, okay. I make a piece. Oh, hey. What is this? Damned sister. Officer, I know what this looks like. Shh. But we checked your stuff, but we're not customs officers. That that yeah. is not our dope. Are you deaf? Get in the car! Get in the car! Okay. We'll get this taken care of. In desperation. Get in the car, folks. Back. Registration. You know that isn't our car, and it's not our dope either. Do you think we'd be so stupid? Shut as up, you New York deviant. What did you call me? I'm arresting you for possession of marijuana with intent to sell. You can't be serious. You have the right to remain silent. If you choose to not be silent, everything you say can be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. I am going to kill you. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand your rights as I have explained them to you? Do you understand your rights? Just act normally. I don't think he understands what he just said. Do you understand your rights? Do you or not? Answer me, you smart aleck, blue state unisex swingles. Do you or not? Do you or not? Yes. Yes, we understand. Please, just watch the road. Don't worry about me. I got eyes in the back of my head. You do well to remember that. Up there on the horizon is the China pit. Gotta go all the way to Peru to find a bigger one. Yeah, we just started working her again. They got some kind of technology makes even the tailings valuable. <laughs> Science, huh? Gosh. Yeah, I think we're gonna be a boom town again, just like in the old days.
please don't kill us. We'll do whatever you say, just don't kill us. Shut your quacking, yuppie, pothead mouth. We're not potheads. You look like potheads to me. Yuppies kill princess, die, you know. Wouldn't she beautiful? Officer. Shut up and walk. Where is everybody? Disneyland. Come on, walk, hey foot, straw foot. You're Peter. You're Mary. So where's Paul? I mean, how can you sing Puff the Magic Dragon without Paul? Wait a minute. Peter Jackson. I love Lord of the Rings. You are useless. You at least look healthy. Get in there, girlfriend. Forgot all about her. You can never remember everything, though, can you? I don't care if you're a Jew, a Hindu, or Mr. Magoo. In desperation, we don't care about those things much. squirting out of your nose, I'd put it down, Mary. Kill me if you're going to. <laughs> now, why would I want to kill you when things are just starting to get interesting? Killed her little girl. You three billion red Chinese don't give a damn. How they hang an old timer? Don't you hurt him? I'm warning you. Who are you, boy? I'm David Carver. I live at 248 Poplar Street in Wentworth, Ohio. Yeah, but. Who made thee? Canst thou say who made thee, Dak? I guess my folks did. And God. There's no God out here, little Dave. Leave him alone. Haven't you done enough to our family? Even bald-headed hopping Satan don't step his split foot much west of Tonopah? This is desperation. Only thing out here is Kanta and Kantak. And don't you forget it. You're mine. David, what's wrong? What's what's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with him. What do you mean? Are you blind? I think your son is praying.
Well, uh, hey there. Are you a nice person? Uh, well, I like to think so. But uh, then again, if I was Ted Bundy, you think I'd tell you? I'd know. I got a psychic streak. Oh, yours! Huh. That's pleasant. Uh, so what's your name, young lady? Cynthia Smith. Smith? Oh, Smith. It's like a story. No, really, it is. Sure. <laughs> Honest. Good. Who are you? Me? Uh, Steve Ames. A noble moniker. So, uh, pull your psychic streak on up here, Cynthia Smith, and uh, let's make some miles, okay? Yeah, I guess you'll do. Oh. Oh, well, thank you very much, Cookie. Don't call me Cookie, and I won't call you Cake. <laughs> oh, my. Gonna smoke that or gum it to death? Mm. Yeah, quit. Never hurts to keep a practice, though. Yeah. What you looking at, huh? Uh, uh your T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm looking at your T-shirt. Oh, come on, it's okay. Your... We're all animals, right? Oh, come on now. Give me a break. I I worked with Dylan. Back in 95, when uh, he did Unplugged. No way. Yeah, yeah, way, yeah. I was doing uh, amps and guitar tech back in those days. Are you a roadie? Well, this truck looks too small to carry bands. No, I'm, I'm working for this rider, and he's uh, he's driving cross country doing a, a little speaking things, you know. And he does one every couple of days or so. When he gets back to the West Coast, he's going to write a book about it. Is he famous? Uh, have you ever heard of John Edward Marinville? He's famous amongst book people, I guess. Yeah, I pretty much stick with Dean Koontz. Is he cool? Is he cool? Uh, yeah, you know, once you get past the ego, which is like the size of Tibet. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he gets cranky every so often, but I like him, you know. If people drive across country every day. Why is he writing a book about it? Ah, well, it's like he's got this. Midlife crisis thing, you know. Guy's 60 years old, he's huh. been everywhere, he's done everyone, you know. The guy <laughs> rides a big Harley soft tail. Hey, hey, is his bike red and cream? Yeah, red and cream. I think I saw him this morning. Yeah, 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 he probably did. You know, he's all handsome on his bike. Handsome man, yeah, you know, he knows it too, believe me. Well, he's gotta be what, like 50, 70 miles ahead of you? Yeah, about that. You know, I catch up to him when he has a gig and I. I set up the sound systems for him, and I you know, make sure he's got the name straight, stuff like that. And I'll have dinner with him if he wants somebody to talk to, not with, to. But uh, the guy's having the time of his life. Yeah, he likes to play the lone wolf, huh? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the boss. Lone Wolf McQuaid. Film before your time. <laughs>
You want to come up here, sir? I think we need to have a talk. Afternoon, officer. <sighs> Wise man once told me no matter how much you squirm and dance, last two drops end up in your pants. <laughs> sir, are you aware that parking a vehicle on a state road is against the law? And that relieving yourself in public is also against the law? Well, I didn't see any crowd gathering to watch me, so... Sir? Uh, yeah, well, listen, you can write me up if you have to, and I will take it with a smile and apologize, if that will improve your day. I'm not gonna write you up, sir. Just a warning will do this time, but... What? Something wrong? Holy God. Holy God! Huh. You're John Edward Marinville, aren't you? Oh, I... Damn! <laughs> you got busted. You got me again. Damn! Oh, glad to meet you. I am shaking hands with the guy who wrote Delight! Yeah. With the guy who wrote Song of the Hammer. Yeah. This is... What are you doing out here? And on such an unsafe mode of transportation, I mean, they don't call them murder cycles for nothing, and I'm a wolf. Are you working on anything new, sir? Yeah, a book of essays. I thought I'd cycle across America and get in touch with the common folk. Uh, you know, uh, get back to my roots. That's amazing. Um, sir, can I, can I have your autograph? <laughs> oh. I mean, well, that it. That'd, that'd make my whole day. Hell, that'd make my whole year. Yeah, that'd be fine. Right here and... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Uh, could go. you just make it out uh, to here Kali and Tragian? Mm. Um, your number one fan. Thank you. I heard you saw some pretty hairy stuff in the NAM. I was just a correspondent officer. Just one more ink-stained wretch. But uh, I must say that... The Vietnam experience defined me. Nobody wrote about Nam like you. I heard you say some soldiers when some suicide gook blew up a restaurant. Well, it was a uh, gut check time for a lot of us. We did what we could. Yeah, well, some people don't do anything. Some ate the bread of forgetfulness and drank the wine of cowardice. Tack. Oh, hey, you don't want to ride around like that, Mr. Marinville. That thing gets caught up in your back wheel. You're toast. How'd that get like that? I can't be. I always check these buckles before I get on the cycle. It's the last thing I do. Well, I say the memory is the first thing to go. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Uh... What the hell is that? It's a wolf! Shoot it! Uh, it's just a wild dog. They're not dangerous. Ordinarily. Tack! Tack a Ooh, whoa. What the hell did you say to it? Is that some kind of Indian dialect? Well, it's a lot older than that. Since you can't take care of yourself, you big baby. Oh, hey. Gosh. Houston, we have a problem. Uh-uh, that's not mine. You put that in there when I was off doing my business. Oh, yeah. Blame the cop, just like in your lefty New York stories. Tack. Why do you keep saying that? Why do you keep saying, tack? I didn't say tack, you said tack. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say potato, I say potato. What the hell's the matter with you? Tomato. <coughs> tomato! Oh. Oh. Potato! Oh. Oh. Potato! Let's call the whole thing off. Oh. 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 
You broke my nose! That's not all I'll break. <laughs> my children of the desert. The can toy. What music they make. Get up! On your feet, Lord Jim. Up the daisy, you oh, worthless piece of crap. You've been redefined. Uh, uh, you're doing to me. Shut up! You're in my house now. You're in the house of the wolf and the scorpion. And don't you forget it! Ooh. You really did wet your pants this time. You're a sorry excuse for a writer. And you're a sorry excuse for a man. Your whole life is a lie. And I could just kill you right here. I was in a literary commune in Chicago. Yeah, that's, that's a new one on me. Yeah, well, when you have a bunch of people sitting around in a Roche motel smoking crystal meth, mm. they're addicts. Nice. But if they've been to college, they're a literary commune. For a while, though, it wasn't bad, but then I realized I was getting old before my time, so oh, I split. Um, OK, all right, just, all right, do me a favor. Just don't say anything, OK? He's, he'll be cool about it, but his agent made a huge stick about picking up uh, Wayward hitchhikers. Hey, boss. Is that you? Steve. Steve. Johnny. <sighs> boss, is that is that? Uh, I hear you, boss. Uh, what's wrong? West. Ely. Boss. Uh, about a mile and a about a mile and a half. Of... Not me, down. Boss. The road is. Boss. Boss. Steve. Steve, can you, can you hear me? Shoot. Lost him. Taking me. The old Calabozo, my friend, where anything you pray will be abused against you in a court of call. <laughs> Why don't you 
aren't you gonna at least say Gesundheit? He's in trouble, isn't he? Uh, said something about the cops. Oh, God. Bad. Not good. Big ego, big temper. Just hope he hasn't killed anybody. All right, brace yourself, Cynthia. There might be blood. Yeah, well, I'm a woman. I can deal with blood. Look, John. What in the name of God is going on? What's up with the praying, David? I've been doing it since Brian's accident. Everyone thought he'd die. Your sister died. I'd say that's a pretty lousy bargain. Honey, leave him alone. I want to know about this! He's praying, that's all. He's not hurting anybody. Praying is great. Without it, the Crusades would have never gotten off the ground. Do you do this all the time, son, or is it special? I ask for help in the morning and give thanks at night. In the middle, I just take a few minutes and try to get open. Sort of like a football receiver or something. It's hard to explain. Brian got you going on this? Brian's accident. You remember the doctor saying how his recovery was almost miraculous? I saw him, Mom. And it wasn't almost. something for you. Anything you want, I promise. I mean, don't let him die. Please don't let him die. God could work a miracle on your friend, but not on your baby sister. He couldn't save her from that cop. What kind of a god is that? I don't know what kind of god he is. What I want to know how you can get on your knees and pray to a god who killed your sister. Lady, he's your son, and I don't mean to interfere. But why don't you take it easy on the boy? I know you lost your little girl. I lost my husband. It's been a tough day on everyone. Tough day. Shh. 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 Listen. Maybe it's help. No, it's Kali. I recognize the engine. His name is Kali Intrigian. He's been on the force here for about 12 years. I'm the, I'm the vet in these parts. I, I took care of Collie's dogs. He was a nice fella. Yeah, a real sweetheart. To this, I mean. I'll tell you something, though. He's bigger. What do you mean he's bigger? Bigger. Taller. A few inches, at least. That's it's impossible. I know. Look at us, would you? Just one big happy family. Tech. marks or, or anything out of the ordinary wait 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 wait, wait. What, what is that what he said something about uh, an RV hey what what is it 
Just a reflection, I guess. Go slow. Hello? Anybody home? Look. This is some little girl's favorite. See how the dress is patched? So why was it left in the sand? Yeah, and why... Why are all the tires flat, you know? Like, not just one or two of them, but all of them. Catch a tourist by the toe. <clears throat> Don't you scream. Don't you shout. The time has come to take you out. Leave them alone! Have you done enough to us? In a word? No. Come on out, hon. Huh? Well, this no chin pencil neck paper pusher gets it right between the eyes. And the boy goes next. No! Oh! You're right. That's right, hon. Fine as fiddlesticks. If you, if, you want, want, if you want that, I have to be more my son won't have to see. Oh, don't worry, hon. I don't want that. Especially not from you. Mom, no! Leave her alone, you bastard! Leave my mother alone! Don't worry, honey. I'll be back. Okay? Make them stop! Dad, make them stop! Oh, God. Warning you. If you hurt her, you'll be sorry. Maybe. But I doubt it. You're just a little prey boy, aren't you? Yes, yes, you are. You're just a little prey boy in a baseball shirt. Well, well, go ahead and pray. See what good it does. But God ain't here. Any more than he was when Jesus was dying on the cross with flies in his eyes. Tak! Tak! Allah! Give me You set a hand or a foot outside your cell, he'll have it off before you even know it was gone. Leave her alone. Son! I will put a stick through your mother and spin her until she catches fire, if I so desire, and you'll not stop me. here as well as a girl, David Carver. Carver. What do you got? 
Jewelry, earrings and rings. You know, not Tiffany, but not cheap either. Not the kind of stuff you leave behind unless you were in a hurry. Time for the cops, isn't it? Well, I'm pretty sure the boss said something about being like a mile from the RV, so... Before I start yelling for the cops. Cynthia? There's a town not too far east of here. Desperation. They got some cute names out here, don't they? Yeah, I don't care about the name. Just care about if they have at least one working phone and maybe one working cop. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice?
Uh, David, are you okay? Um, could you, um, please turn around? This is a little embarrassing. David, whatever you have in mind, it can't be a good idea. It's the only idea. Who says so, son? My sister. God. Are you gonna stop this before your son does something he regrets? David, you don't have to do this. The cop's bleeding out. It can't last much longer. It won't take him long to kill my mom if he decides to. David. Uh, I don't know what you're planning, but I forbid it. Sorry, Dad. David, David, you don't have to do this. You get stuck. Even if you do get out, that thing will eat you from the feet up. Lord, close its mouth like you did with the lions when Daniel was cast into their den. Amen. Stop it! Stop him! Get away from him, you ugly bastard! Here, here, here! Over here! Hey, hey, come on, come on! Get over here, you mutt! Come this way, come to me! Come to me! That's it, take it, take it, Paul! Come on! Take another fight! Hey, hey, come here! Come this way! Come to me! No, 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 hey, 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 come to me! Come to me now! Push! Push, David! No! David, there's no time! Come on, move! Push! Get out of there, come on, get out David, pull it! Get out of there, car! Please help me take care of my mom and do what I'm supposed to do. Anybody home? Peaceful. Operators are standing by. Hello, anybody there? Uh, it's dead. It's gotta be them. Hey, wait, wait, wait! Wait. There's some garbage cans lined up against the wall. The wind just knocked one down, that's all. I don't care, I wanna get out of here. This place is empty and it gives me the creeps. There's trucks out there. Where is everybody? Well, I don't know, but I just think we ought to just keep... Oh, I know, just tell me we're gonna be laughing at each other and feeling stupid in a few seconds, okay? Okay, uh, yeah, a few seconds. Good enough. Let's see what we see. Do you hear that? It sounds like a kid blowing bubbles through a straw. Do not worry, little Nell. For I shall save you. Dork. It's just an aquarium. <sighs> no, look. Look. What? Behind the boat.
It's a hand. My God, what happened here? I love you, bye. Whatever happened here is over. It's over. It's over. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The blood's dry. It's, it's gone brown. It's gone brown. Okay. It's over. It's over. It's
I want to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, we better. G101? Did all of this? I don't know, and I don't care. I just want to get out of here. Come on. No way! If that's you, don't come in. That thing's right in front of the door. How close? About five feet. And looking right at the sound of your voice. I have a gun. I'm going to shoot it. No, don't even think about it. I think you all better get under your bunks. Have you ever shot a gun before, kid? Not a real one. Oh, Jesus wept. You don't even know if it's loaded. Or if it has a safety. They're dead. David, count to five so we'll know. So you're gonna get my son killed! What the hell's the difference? If Big Daddy comes back here, we're all dead. Dad, get down! Please. Okay, David. One! Whoa. Is my dad undercover? Yeah. Be careful, son! And shoot up! Remember, he's gonna jump. Okay. Two. Three. You okay, son? Please. Answer me! Good job, pal. An amazing job. Yeah, it was, David. Uh, would you check for a key here and let us out? Maybe in a desk? Look in there.
saying pie was the hardest. I covered her with a jacket. You did the best you could, my boy. You did the best you could. I'm scared for mom. Uh, look, I don't mean to rush you, but the sooner we get out of here. everybody look 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 lights uh, there's lights there's phones <gasps> what was that uh, you were here yeah right eat me set the cake to Alice Conditioning's off. It smells funny. Hey. Anybody here? Hello? Hey. Hey, Steve, there's somebody there. Oh, no, 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 no. She's dead. No, she's not. I can see her head moving. No, Cynthia, no, okay, it's don't. Ma'am? Tucker one, Tucker law. Meet him in tow, in tow. Rosny and Tet. Where are they? Show me.
Oh, what? Oh, hey. It's just a rope. You're okay. I hate narrow places. It'll get better soon. Gather around. I want you all to have the full effect. <laughs> Come on over here. Watch your step, though. Wow, this is amazing. It has been closed over 20 years now. A few of us got tired of the hoorah down at the Owls Club and bought it. Oh, hey, Steve, watch. No, 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 no. Old timer, maybe later. Yeah. Check this Who the hell are you to tell me I can't have a drink out of my own liquor cabinet? Somebody who knows what you are, somebody who's been there. Now, while that crazy cop is still out there somewhere, that is off limits. You got that? Fine. Well, what about these lights? Huh? Uh -oh. Is the cop gonna see him out there? The theater's boarded up, Your Majesty. No light shines through. We're as safe here as anywhere, I reckon. Me, him, him and Toe. Toe, and on content, and guilt, rocks me in debt. Me, him and Toe. Me, him and Toe. And on content, and guilt, rocks me in debt. Me, him and Toe. Even the cop will find us sooner or later. You know we will. You saw him. Time is not on his side. Where's where's everybody else? Dead. He killed him. Yeah, some of them, I'm sure, but where are the rest of them? You're not hearing me. Anything that got into his road, he killed it. Oh, that's nuts. He couldn't have killed them all. Now look around, smart Alec. How come he didn't kill you? I don't know. He come for me a couple of days ago. I had been uh, on a ranch job, and I slept a little bit late. Slept in my coat, actually. I might uh, have too much to drink, too. Now, he came here into my bedroom. First I knew, Colleen Turgian was dragging me out of bed and snapping his damned handcuffs and dragging me off to jail. He pulled me all the way through the house and across the yard and into his car, locked me in the back of the cruiser and hauled my ass off to jail. He was talking all kinds of crazy stuff in some other language. And they weren't all dead. Then, you know, the, the folks in town, I mean. You got half a dozen on the way back to my place. Shot them down in the streets, ran over them. The waitress from the Desert Rose was screaming, looking over her shoulder. And she tripped. That thump. And we went over her and him laughing. That little bear on a dashboard nodding his head up and down. And him laughing. Some people must have escaped. He's not human. I know that sounds crazy, but. Yeah, I know what you mean. They reopened the mine, the old China pit. Whatever's happening here, I think it came from over there. What are you, the town historian? Well, I guess you might say so. I'm in an unofficial way. I like history. Local history, especially. Uh, up until now, that is. I found some stuff to eat. Huh. Should certainly take care of hunger in America. It's sardines. Not great, I guess. At this point, I'd settle for woodchuck pate. Pass it around, David. Um, would anybody mind if I said a prayer first? Sort of like a grace? Go for it, David boy. God bless us who are about to eat. Bless our fellowship. Take care of us. And deliver us from evil. Especially my mom. Please let her be okay. Please. Amen. Amen. You really believe this, don't you? 
don't you? There's enough for everyone, honest. Yes, he's right, ma'am. We were headed to Tahoe when all the tires went flat. And then he pulled up behind us and gave us some story about a, a crazy in the desert who was disabling vehicles and, and shooting folks. And, and then he looked at Pi. We smiled at her. Your, um, your daughter dropped her doll. Ellen couldn't stop her from crying, but uh, David made her feel better. He always could. So how do we get out of this? I mean, do we just wait for the wind to die down or what? Oh, waiting's a bad idea. Why do you say that? Well, because somebody should have gotten out of here and nobody did. There's something loose here. And if we hang around, I think it's, it's apt to eat us alive. I'm not going anywhere until I find out what happened to my mom. Oh, David, no. no! It won't do your mom any good for you and the rest of us to die trying to find her. It's, true, it's a crock! That's what it is! None of you care about my mother. Not even you, Dad. You know, that's not true. If we leave, it'll be too late to save her. I know that just like I knew how to use the soap to get us out of the cell. Why don't you pray? I can't. Right now I'm too pissed. At God? At Santa Claus. Is that really how it was, Mr. Blingsley? All those white miners and Chinese miners working together? Pretty much, I guess. Oh, come on. They didn't call it the Chinese American pit, did they? Why don't you tell us about it? You think you know it all, Mr. High and Mighty. Why don't you tell it? You're the big storyteller. I'll tell you about Vietnam. You tell us about desperation. Talk about it. Every town has its history. And every town has its secrets. We're here. We want to know about it. Tell us about it. Hey, I don't think I'm crazy. After what we've seen? Anybody think Tom's crazy? Raise their hands. You know, about a month ago, an ANFO crew uncovered the old rattlesnake shaft while they were shooting blast holes. They dug the rattlesnake a good 150 years ago. It caved in not three months later, and the miners all but two of the Chinese were buried alive, along with whatever they dug up when they started working the mine again last month. Whatever they woke up. I think it's a Wazin, an earth demon. Now that the chaps are open again, all those animals we're seeing, I think they're its eyes and ears. You know, the Chinese were treated badly in California, but here in Nevada, they were damn near part of the community. They were working to support their families back home and to buy land of their own. Nobody forced them down into the mines. What about the two survivors? How'd they get out? Well, they just beat the cave in. Pure luck. And they left town, I guess. And nobody tried to pin the cave in on them. Now why would they try to do that? Well, from my experience, 
best scapegoats are those who can't speak English. You know, that's all ancient history. But they've been finding some damn strange stuff down in that hole in the last couple of weeks. Carvings and such. I think something came out of that mine, something that never died. And never will. Now, I know how that sounds, but you asked for it. I, uh, I have to take a leak. Be back. Yeah. Take this with you. Thank you. If you know he's got a bottle stashed in the boys' room, why didn't you stop him? Because I think he needs a drink to steady himself, and one's all he's gonna take for now. Did you used to drink, Mr. Randall? No, David, I used to drown. It was a way of putting out the dreams after the war. David, this god of yours performed a miracle on a, your friend, right? Yes. Have you stopped to ask yourself why God would want to hurt a child to say hello? I asked Reverend Martin about that. I asked him to keep my promise. What promise is that? That if God saved Brian, I'd do something he wanted. Anything he wanted, really. And this is it? That's something? You think this is for the best, that God is good, and this is for the best? I don't know anymore. It's so much harder now. Reverend Martin says that faith isn't just believing in God. Believing God is saying, I think I understood that. But he killed my sister. He took my mom. We have to get out of here, David. That's what I have faith in. We have to. John Ford said, if you have a choice between truth or legend, print the legend. Come on, there's not much time. Mẹ con về nước ngoài đi 
Shoot him, Johnny! Don't hurt Stay with him. David! David, where are you? What if the cops got him? Why are you here? For the same reason everyone's here. To love God and serve God. What am I supposed to do? Look, David. See.
These bodies is how fast they wear out. But you should last a while. Come on, David. Come on back. Tom's dead. Mary's gone. I think it was the cop? Of course it was. I just don't know why he didn't trash us. He's afraid of us. And there is no he. It's a thing from the mine. Colleen Shregan's dead. So is my mother. David, honey, we can't give up hope. I have a lot to tell you. I just don't want to do it in here. Yeah, it is pretty creepy here. But he... It's out there someplace. No, it's in the pit. It took the head of the assay crew that uncovered the rattlesnake shaft. His name was Carrie Ripton. That's how it started. He followed a trail of those little stone animals, the Cantos, to Tack's place. That's its name. There's a hole that goes, uh, I think it goes into another dimension or something. <laughs> Tack got into Carrie Ripton. And from him it jumped to the cop. It wears out bodies fast. God showed you this on that editing machine. <laughs> More dog, my cat. Listen, um, I, I know you're a famous writer, you're used to be in the center of attention and all, but that doesn't give you the right to make fun of my boy. He's just afraid, Dad. That's all. That's it. I'm afraid. I'm terrified, as a matter of fact. But there is a certain hopeful geography about this situation. You said Tack the Magnificent is in the mine. That's south of here. The highway is north of here. The truck is right here. We get into the truck, we fire it up, and we get the hell out of Dodge. Mary's alive. Tex got her sword like a spider sword's flies to eat later on.
you're joking. You seriously think we can just drive up to that open pin mine and save the Lady Fair? We have to get out of here. You wanted to know about God? I'll tell you what I know. He works through people. And right now he's trying to work through us. I say we give it a try. Who asked you? Listen, it has to be all of us. Tech's not just a man or a woman, no matter what it looks like. It's a can tech. The big God, the heart of the unformed. Only all of us can stand against it. Can't you feel that? I can't feel anything. There's been a lot of crap watching movies, you know that kid? Attacks like you. It wants us to leave. Well, then why don't we give it what it wants? Well, there's Mary. No, I didn't bring her here, and I didn't take her up to that mine if that's where she is. So don't give me that guilt trippy stuff. Now, you people want to fly trans god airways with a boy, go right ahead. I think I'll pass. And not even God can stop me. No. He gives us free will. That's right. Good old free will. God bless God, huh? <clears throat> I think I'll go out and find a car with some keys in it and resume my interrupted trip. You folks have a good day and uh, send me a postcard once it's time for the reunion. You know what? I have lost all my respect for you. Oh, gee. I've lost the respect of the man who once carried out Steven Tyler's barf bags. Shuck. David, tell me something. If Tack wants us to leave, why did he bring us here in the first place? It didn't. It thinks it did, but it didn't. This is God's will, not Tack's. And if you leave now, you'll smell Tack on your skin for the rest of your life. Hmm. Well, I better go heavy on the aftershave, huh? Hey, anybody make it to San Jose, I'm at the Sea Cliff. Drinks on me. Did you quit drinking? Uh, uh, that was a mistake. Uh, I wish I didn't run into this kid. Johnny! Mr. Marinville, we were put on Earth to love God, to serve him. And what else are you doing tonight, anyway? Oh, uh, it's not, it just isn't working, kid. It's not working. Just shut up, just shut up. Me. You can't, can you? You can't hurt me, can you? Because I'm supposed to be next. Murder your God!
his wife, if this frog can cook, you're out of here. <laughs> One, two, three. What the hell are you doing? Everything blows sky high. You got five, maybe ten seconds, big boy. Then boom! Tuck! Tuck her up! Ran like a rabbit. Didn't want a soul. Brave boy. Takala, Takawa. Thirty-five years ago in Saigon, why? I don't... So you'd know when you saw it. When you saw it the next time. We can still travel, David. Drive to Highway 50, head west, never look back. Free will, right? Yeah. Good old free will. Eighty-seven people died in that bar. Eighty-seven. And I never tried to save anyone. Not a one of them. I only said my own sorry ass. And here, how many in this town? Sometimes God is cruel. What good is he then? He wants us to love him and to serve him, right? Come here. Come on. You're crazy. I like that person. Where do we start? Mary? Let's go get her. Come on.
Ellen's dead, not Tack. It's still in the mine, isn't it? The pier and mill. That's where it really is. What? What is that? The well of the worlds. This well. If it's in there, David, can we block it up somehow? I don't know. Yeah, we can we can block up that mine shaft. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So what does this tack want? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? This is what God wants. Uh, ah. No, we don't have time for that. Oh, Let me wait, do this. Wait, are you nuts? This is this is an explosive shaft. Either it works or it doesn't. Now get back. Everybody get back. David, get back and pray. All right, move Everybody back. Everybody get back. What is all that stuff? Woo. Ammonium nitrate. Tim McVeigh used it in Oklahoma City. What the hell are we doing here? You got a better idea? No. Let's just say I got hit by a god bomb. Never mind about God. I'll settle for bombs. Steve. Dave's getting a little antsy. Pretty soon now you're gonna have to grab him. Hold him tight. Don't let go. Alright. So what's the plan? We do what God tells us to do. That's the plan. Come on. Um, we ought to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. I think I'm supposed to go on from here by myself. Uh, David, no. That's a load of crap, Dave. What do you mean? Exactly what I say. And don't give me that, God told me to. Because right now he's not telling you anything, is he? All right, you can lead the way. How about that? 
Let's go. Let's get this over. Sorry, kid. Sorry, kid. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I just got a bad back. Sorry, sorry. Too much alcohol and too much cigarettes. Do you want me to take those back? No. Not far to go. What do you know? What do I know? I want to get out of here before dawn. Let's move it. Come on. can't take them all. He can. He's God. And God is cruel. He's no better than Tech. Steve, get him. He can't take them all and leave me. He can't take them all and leave me. You want to know how cruel your God is? How fantastically cruel? Sometimes he makes us live. Get him out of here. It's gonna be a big bang. Boss. No time. David, you find your friend Brian. Make him your brother. Then keep telling yourself there was an accident out in the desert, a bad one. And you're the only survivor. That's not what happened. That's exactly what happened. And you get him out of here. Go on, move it. God. You're John Edward Marinville, aren't you?
You down there, Tack? Because I've come for you. Come on, big brave American Ranger. Tack a la! Command you stop. Adam Sandler demands you stop. And Coulter demands you stop. Even if he can get to it, how can he set that stuff off? I think he knows why. I can give you anything if you stop. Anything. 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 Oh, man. Norman Mailer, put my ass in the New York Times book review. What more could a man want? You can't. Oh, Spa, you can't. Oh. You intelligent bastard. Oh, man, you said the wrong thing there. You're useless. You're a drunk. You're a no good for nothing piece of crap. No, don't do it. You're a joke. Could you always have been? See, I hate critics. Just keep coming for us. Look, it's going away already. See? Let's get out of here. Stop. Pull over. What is it? There's an overnight bag in the back seat if no one's stolen it.
David, I think you should come here. Any idea how your school album got in the backseat of my car? That's, um, my boss's handwriting. Are you sure? Are you kidding me? After a month of looking over his shoulder while he wrote good luck and best wishes and could you come up to my room over people's books, yeah, I'm sure. The Bible reference, do you know it? Sure. God is love. What do you think, David? Is he love? Yeah. I guess so. I guess God is sort of everything. That's what makes him God.